What's up YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to get Siri installed on your new jailbroken iPad 2 or your iPad 1. Alright you guys, so like I said, I'm going to show you how to get Spire and the uh, Siri on your actual iPad. Uh, currently, if you go to try to install Spire through Cydia on your iPad, you're going to get this little error message, uh, conflicts iPad, uh, you have to blah blah blah, you can't use it with the iPad. So, I'm going to show you guys how to get around that. So first things first, you're going to want to install this package called iFile. iFile is currently, uh, it's a paid package, but you can get it for free if you go and add this source right here, sinfuliphonerepo.com. Uh, to your city of sources. So if you click up here, edit, and then add, and then add the uh, sinful iPhone repo source right there. I'll also post it in the description. Uh, it's sinful iPhone repo.com. Add that to Cydia and then click on it. And then you're going to scroll down on the to the I section and you're going to see iFile cracked. You're going to then click on that and then hit the install button up there and have that installed. And then once you get that, you're going to get a file just like this called iFile. Okay. And now next, you're going to open this up. And then you're gonna to go to, I'll go all the way back. You go to System, Library, Core Services, Springboard.app. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that again. You go to, from the home thing, you go to System, Library, Core Services, Springboard.app. Okay, and then you're gonna to get to the list of all these different files. You're gonna scroll down to where you get to the K's. So I'm going to scroll down real quick, H-I-J-K, and you see this file called k93ap.plist. You're going to see something that is something like that. It's like a K, and then a bunch of numbers, and then .plist. You're going to find that file right there. It'll be different. It might be different for you guys, but don't worry. It's the k.plist file, okay? You're going to click on that, and then you're going to click on Property List Viewer, okay? And then you're going to click on Capabilities. And then you're going to scroll down to where you can find iPad right there. iPad, and you're going to turn this off. Like that. Okay? iPad off. What that does is that it, now you can install things that are not uh, just iPad uh, reliable. So now you can install things through Cydia that are also for the iPhone. So just like Spire. So now you just uh, uninstall that. And on uninstall, you click that to off. Hit done. And then go back to the home screen, and now you're going to want to power off your iPad. So I have SB settings, so I'm just going to use power and then reboot. But if you don't have SB settings, just hold in the top corner button, slide to power off, and then power back on. Um, uh, power back on, and then you'll go back to the home screen. And the reason you have to do that is so that it resyncs everything, and now it, uh, it allows the iPad to install things that are not supposed to be installed on an iPad, such as Spire and Siri. <laughs> Okay, and once you're back at the home screen, you're going to slide to unlock, and now you're going to go back into Cydia, go to search, you're going to search for SPIRE Spire, you're going to see this up here, this is a simple Siri installer, you're going to hit that, now when you hit install, it'll say install, now you won't have a error message or anything, and you'll be able to install it right on your iPad, so you're going to hit confirm, It'll say reloading data. Uh, my Wi-Fi is a little messed up right now, so I'm just going to take it a few minutes for it to uh, get all synced up, so I'll be right back when that's done. And now this might take a little bit depending on your Wi-Fi connection. Uh, mine is actually a pretty good Wi-Fi connection. It's taken a while, um, so it depends on what you guys are using for your internet. And uh, sorry I'm not using a tripod right now. I tried using one to get it all synced up with the, uh, you know, iPad screen, but it was kind of hard because the iPad's so big and the camera's not as big as it, so I had to use it by holding it, so I hope it's not too shaky. I've been trying to keep it steady for you guys, but uh, once this is done, I will be right back. Okay, once this is fully done, it's going to say reboot device, and you won't have to worry about it, you know, getting all messed up because you all have untethered jailbreaks by now, uh, if you are on 5.0.1 or 5.0. So once this reboots, I will come right back and show you guys that it is working on the iPad too. Okay, now it's fully rebooted. I'm going to unlock it and show you guys that it is working. See? Right down there. But uh, again, this will not work unless you have connectivity with a, um, uh, what's it called, a server. So either you have to have your own iPhone 4S keys or you have to be uh, using a paid server. And I had a video on that. I don't know if you guys have actually used that or bought any of them. I used to have one and then my uh, my like month membership expired or something. So uh, that won't work anymore. That was my old one, but... That won't work anymore, as you guys can tell. So, either way, when you get your um, either iPhone 4S keys or the actual um, 
uh, a server that you guys can type in. You type in your uh, proxy host right up there, and then once you do that, you go into general, and you'll go into Siri, and make sure that Siri is turned on, and you will get it working on your iPad. Siri not available. See, Connect mine's, to the internet. Mine's not on right now because I don't have a um, a server, but so y you guys you guys understand hopefully. So once you get the server, you plug that in, and then it'll work on your iPad. But uh, this is how you get it on your iPad two or your iPad one. And if you guys want to go back into iFile and then change that iPad setting to off or on, you can just go right back through there and install stuff through Cydia, uh, such as Instalus. You guys can in uh, Instalus on your uh, iPad as well. It's the exact same thing. You just turn that off and then go install the stuff. So if you ever get an error message through City that says you can't install it because it's an iPad, just go into iFile, turn off iPad, and then go and reinstall it through City, and then turn iPad back on through iFile. So and then it'll work perfectly fine. So I hope you guys like this video. Please hit the like button if you do. It helps me out a ton, and it only takes you guys a second. And if you haven't already, hit the uh, subscribe button right up there. I just broke 4,500 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. You like like it's it's just exploded since you know the past uh, few months since i started making videos um i've gotten above 4500 subscribers and almost 2 million video views so it's it's a uh, it's it's awesome what you guys are doing for me so i just want to say thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time thanks guys